Hey guys, so today we're going to start on chapter 13. We're on lesson 13.1. Lesson 13.1 in your goal math is on perimeter. Now the essential question states, how can you use a formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, let's find out. We know that perimeter though, um, if you remember from third grade, perimeter is addition, okay? So in perimeter, you're pretty much adding the sides, okay? Um, Perimeter, you have to think of it like the distance around an object, like a fence around a house, like a border around a wall. That's what you're looking at for perimeter. So let's read the Unlock the Problem. Julio is putting a stone border around his rectangular garden. The length of the garden is 7 feet. The width of the garden is 5 feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and underline very carefully, the length of the garden is 7 feet. And using my other color, which I did in the classroom, the width. So the length is 7, and we know that the width, you know, do this carefully, of the garden is 5 feet. Okay. How many feet of stone border does Julio need? So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to highlight my question because that's telling me what I need to find out. I need to find out the number of feet he's going to need. Okay, that's what this question says. What are you asked to find? You are asked to find, and we're going to write this down in just a minute, how many feet of stone does Julio need? So we're going to write how many feet of stone okay so the perimeter just like I said prior is the distance around the shape to find how many feet of stone border Julio needs you need to find the perimeter of the garden so if you look at that one uh, at the picture on the side I'm gonna go ahead and scroll my page up Okay, in just a sec. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and delete, clear my screen here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, and here we go. All right, so if you look at the shape on the side, you have a rectangle. So, guys, it's very simple. If one side is seven feet, then this side, uh, the adjacent side is also going to be seven feet. If the bottom side is five feet, then the top part of that shape is also going to be five feet. Okay, so what you're really doing is you're adding, remember I said perimeter is adding, you're adding seven plus five plus seven plus five. If you add them all together, that gives you a grand total of 24 feet. So the perimeter is 24 feet. So that means that Julio needs 24 feet of stone border, okay? So now we're going to go and do perimeter again, but we're going to use it with multiplication. So let's, uh, I'm going to clear this screen for you. Let's go down to the bottom, well, sort of the bottom, all right? All right, using multiplication. All right, let's take a look at letter A, okay? Letter A, um, it's telling you to use uh, pretty much like partial products in a sense because what you're doing is, or actually, I'm sorry, the dis like the distributive property in a sense. Um, you're doing two times the length plus two times the width. Okay, that's really what you're doing. Um, if you know that your length is, let's say your length is 12 centimeters, okay, you're going to multiply 12 times 2. And that's exactly what they did, 2 times 12 because it's two times the length. Now two times the length is equal to 24. Two times 12 is 24. Plus, notice the plus sign, that's really important. Plus, two times the width, the width is eight, how wide something is. So the distance from end to end is eight. So that's exactly what they did. They did it two times eight, which is 16. Now all they're doing is saying, okay, well, now that I have that, let me just figure out what 24 plus 16 is. If we add 24 plus 16, it gives us a total of 40. Okay, 
So we know uh, that the perimeter of this precise rectangle is 40 centimeters. So we're going to write 40 centimeters here. Now, if you look at part B, part B says find perimeter of a square. That one is a little bit different, okay? Um, we're still using multiplication, however, it is a square. You need to remember that a square has four equal sides. Since a square has four equal sides, whenever we're looking for perimeter of a square, whatever number it is, whether it's in inches or centimeters or whatnot, whatever number is on each side, you're going to multiply that number times four because a square has four equal sides, so just multiply that number times four, which is exactly what they did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at 16 times four. Six times four is 24, okay? Four times one is four, plus two is six. So we know that our product is 64. So the perimeter of this square is 64 inches, all right? So in this page, pretty much we learned how to find perimeter three different ways. You can add each side, seven plus five plus seven plus five, or you can use, um, you can use multiplication. Instead of doing, for example, 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5, you could have done 2 times 7 plus 2 times 5, which is the same strategy that they're using here. 2 times the length plus, this is really important, guys, don't forget that, plus 2 times the width, okay? And either way, you'll be able to find uh, the perimeter of, um, of, a, of a rectangle or of a square, okay? So um, now let's, let's keep looking. Uh, we're going to go over to the next page. All right, so on this page at the top, um, it says use a formula. Okay, uh, what is a formula for perimeter? The, per the formula for perimeter, um, you know, I would write this down in your journal, have it somewhere uh, where you know you're going to keep it handy. Okay, it says um, a formula is a mathematical rule. In other words, kind of like a rule that you look for, like kind of like when you've done conversions and you have a, a little cheat sheet with all your conversions on it. It's something that you're always going to use to be able to find um, the answer to a given uh, some sort of uh, mathematical algorithm. Now, a formula is a mathematical rule. You can use a formula to find perimeter. Well, the formula for the perimeter, just like we did before, okay, don't let all of this throw you off, is P, P stands for perimeter, equals 2 times L, 2 times L is 2 times the length, plus 2 times W, W stands for width. That's it. It's simple as that. So let's look at this example down here, okay? Um, just like I said before, guys, if this side is 18, then what do you think this side is going to be? This side is also going to be 18. Okay. Um, if that side is 14, then what do you think the other side is going to be? In meters, of course, it's going to be 14 meters. That's what the M is for. The M is for meters. Okay. So we're going to follow the, we're going to follow the rule. Perimeter equals two times length. Okay, well, let's take a look over here and let's figure out, well, 2 times length plus 2 times width. So we're going to do 2 times 18 plus, okay, 2 times 14. So I'm going to put 14 right there. Okay, when we multiply 2 times 18, go ahead and work it out. Okay, now for 2 times 18 you should get 36, 36 plus, now you're doing two times 14. So two times 14, when you're multiplying those two together, you get 28. So we're gonna put 28 right here. And then all we're gonna do is, guess what? We're gonna add these two numbers together and we're done. So we have 36 plus 28 equals 64. So the perimeter of this rectangle is, and we're going to write it in meters, 64 
meters. Okay? So that's it. Now, if you look at question one, I'm going to go ahead and scroll my page down. Okay? Give me just a second. Um, if you look at question one, it says, can you use a distributive property? Yes, you can. Because that's exactly what we've done. I've used a distributive property um, because pretty much, you know, it's kind of like when you guys did the distributive property. Um, you're, the answer, first of all, is right. Yes, yes, yes. Because if I needed to write this at the distributive property, that pretty much is the same thing as saying P for perimeter equals, okay? It equals two times, okay, L plus W, okay? And that means that two times the sum of the length plus two times the sum of the width, okay, it, that's pretty much what you're doing. You're, you're doing the distributive property is the same as two times the length plus two times the width. So if we continued this equation here, remember when we did the distributive property, this is what we end up with, P equals parentheses plus parentheses. How does that work? We keep the two times, two, times, two times the first number length, plus two times the second number width, two times width. And this is a distributive property because this is exactly what we just did right here. It's two times 18 plus two times 14. You multiply both, you get the two products, and then at the end, you add them together to get your final answer, okay? Um, all right, so let me clear the page here, and let me see. All right, so um, let's go to the next page. I'm going to have you guys try a couple of problems, and then we're done. All right, so we're on to the next page, share and show, and at the top it says, find the perimeter of the rectangle. Here's a, here's a rectangle. Again, if this side is 8, this side is also 8 feet. If this side is four feet, this side is also four feet, okay? So we're going to follow the rule. Let's follow the rule by looking at uh, the, you know, by, by looking at the, um, the formula. Sorry, I just had a loss of words there. By looking at the formula. So the formula for perimeter, remember what we said it was? It's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So we're just going to plug those numbers here. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Okay? Um, that's it. So all we have to do now is just plug the numbers in. We know that it's going to be 2. So it's going to be 2 times. Well, let's choose one of the numbers. 2 times the length. Okay? 2 times 8 plus 2 again times the other number. What's the other number? The other number is 4. All right. So um, we're going to do 2 times 8 first. 2 times 8 we know is 16. And 2 times 4 we know it is 8. And guess what? We're right almost done. Because then we just have to add 16 plus 8, which gives me a grand total of 24. Don't forget to write what it is. Feet. That means that the perimeter is 24 feet. And that's it. Now, look at question three. And this is the one that I want you to try out. So I'm going to go ahead. You can pause the video here. You can try it out. And then I'll see you back in what? About a minute or so? And see if you got the answer correct. All right? I'll see you in a bit. All right, so for question three, if you multiplied 42 times 2, you should have had 84, and 110 times 2 was 220. The last and final step is to add those two together, 220 plus 84. That gives you a grand total of 304. So your answer was 304 meters. Bye, guys.